Scientists have discovered a massive sinkhole off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The giant blue hole is around 900 feet deep and scientists have dubbed it the second deepest blue hole found on the planet. The blue holes found on coastal karst platforms around the world, including the Caribbean Sea and the Yucatan Peninsula, contain unique environments within them. Spread over an area of 13,660 square meters, the giant, underwater cavern is located in the Chetamal Bay and has been named Tom Ya, which means, deep water, in Mayan. The submerged blue hole has a nearly circular shape at its surface with steep sides that form a large conic structure covered by biofilms, sediments, limestone, and gypsum ledges. Researchers from the Department of Observation and Study of the Land, the Atmosphere, and the Ocean, Chetamal, Mexico have published their findings about the blue hole in frontiers in marine science. The study states that submarine exploration was conducted through echo sounding, thermohaline profiles, chemical analysis of collected water samples, and scuba diving, leading to the first documentation of this geomorphologic feature. The blue hole first discovered in 2021 could offer a glimpse of how life evolved through the millennia in the marine world. Researchers have in the past found bacteria at such depths in blue hole in the Caribbean, where no other life form was found, indicating the evolution of life at those depths. A series of discontinuous terraces were detected at water depths, near the eastern and northwestern walls of the Blue Hole before developing steep and almost vertical slopes. The structure of the Blue Hole can be described as a conic shape that is north skewed with a volume of approximately 1 million m3. The maximum water depth of the Blue Hole exceeds 270 mbsl, with the deeper areas located mostly scattered on the northern side, the paper read. The team noticed significant variations in salinity and temperature inside the Blue Hole. The surface salinity values were that representative of the brackish conditions of the Chetamal Bay estuary, while salinity values at deep layers inside the Blue Hole showed that the main water source is seawater. So that was all for today's video. Let us know what you think about it in the comments section, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest uploads. With that said, we will see you next time. Until then, take care!